the shade perennials, showing off some of our gardens. Uh, this is what we call the Buddha garden. It's got a Buddha statue in it. Um, and we did lots of different foliage plants, not too much flower. It's in really deep shade, so we just wanted something bright and colorful for this space. So this is one of our hosta gardens. Um, it sort of ended up being just ones that we had maybe one or two left over or that didn't come out quite how they were planned. Um, and they end up here and we love them. <laughs> this is a big hedge of nine bark that we planted a couple years ago that's really filled in nicely for us. Our compost pile here at Made in the Shade with the beautiful Jerusalem artichoke spread all through it. So this is what we call the scree garden or the rock garden. Um, it's got some nice big rocks, nice small rocks. It's all designed to be really drought tolerant, sun loving plants. And it's one of the ones we love the most because it really changes throughout the season. So you get lots of different colors. Uh, textures and it's just really turned out nicely. So we've got a lot of different specimens in this garden. Uh, the Russian sage right now is looking absolutely stunning with those big purple stem. And uh, we've got some low grasses in here. Uh, again, lots of nice heat tolerant stuff. Um, we have a collection of different sedums all throughout. There's tall ones, there's short ones, green, pink, all different colors. We've got, uh, we've got a nice big yucca in the middle that blooms midsummer. Uh, absolutely stunning. We've got some nice pink echinacea. They're actually a shorter variety, though you wouldn't tell by looking at them. Um, but it gets some nice late season color and it's really great for the pollinators in this garden. And we've got some Baptasia that's in the middle. It doesn't look like much now, but when it's flowering, it's really a showstopper. And then in the back corner, we've got those beautiful tall Hellenium that are just coming into flower with that nice bright orange red color. Gets a lot of height in this garden, so it really slopes up towards the back. These are some of our part sun gardens where it's a mix of sun and shade. Um, there's lots of great stuff in here. We've got the filipendula, we've got the big tall asparagus, uh, some tree peonies, some daylilies. You can't see it, but there's a really big rhubarb in the back. Um, and then we've got some of our potted plants that we like to bring out every year. Get a little more color on the patio. And then our collection of house plants. Which there's probably too many, but <laughs> I like them anyway. And then we've got these hostas that have filled out really nicely. These are Francis William, which is an older variety that we really enjoy. Um, and the grapevine that's covering the pergola here gives us some nice shade in the afternoons. Um, 
We've got the honeysuckle vine that's finished flowering now, but all our hummingbirds really like it and it really attracts them to the gardens. Um, and then we've got some big tall ostrich ferns, some Annabelle hydrangeas, some astilbe. Um, really nice shady gardens. And then we've got the Itope peonies and our beautiful fall anemones that the bees are loving right now. Um, and this garden is full of bulbs in the spring. It's full of these anemones in the fall. It really changes nicely throughout the season. So this is what we call our woodland garden. And it's partly shaded by our two beautiful dawn redwoods so that we adore. And we have a collection of some weird and different trees. Um, and this is one of my favorites for sure. We've got some nice big leaf stuff in here. Uh, we've got the Ligularia and the Redgersia. And then a lot of small woodlands. We've got trilliums, lots of native plants, lots of ferns through here. Um, it's just a nice, deep shade, calm feeling garden. This is sort of a continuation of this garden. Again, we've got lots of nice big leaf stuff, lots of hostas, the ferns, a lot of foliage in the shade gardens. Um, but it really keeps it stunning all the year. one of our shady gardens and um, it's got the nice big service berry which have interest all year round they're one of our favorite Canadian native shrubs and then we've got some lower lying stuff some tiarella uh, some Japanese forest grass and some astilbe that continue out throughout the garden some of our smaller hostas that we like to put all together. I think it shows them off really nicely and you get a lot of neat different textures all in one spot. Thanks for coming and checking out our gardens with us. Um, I hope to see you around and I hope you're all enjoying your gardens this year. And take care.